Good morning students. Today we will talk about the temporomandibular joint. What's the temporomandibular joint or a craniomandibular joint? It is an articulation between the skull and the mandible. Particularly the glenoid fossa of the squamous part of the temporal bone of the skull with the head of the mandible. It's called craniomandibular joint because it is between the cranium and the mandible. Temporomandibular joint because it is between the temporal bone and the mandible. Also, it is a synovial joint because it contains a synovial fluid. We will not concentrate about the anatomy of the joint. You will read about it uh, in the theory and you will take it in more details in general anatomy. The basic components of the temporomandibular joint are hard tissue and soft tissue. The hard tissue is the mandible, the head of the mandible, and the glenoid fossa of the temporal bone. And the soft tissue is the articulating disc and the capsule and the ligaments which surrounds the joint. This is the cross section, lateral section for the temporomandibular joint. Here we can identify the head of the mandible, the glenoid fossa, and the articular eminence. Between these two parts lies the articular disc. This articular disc is concave toward the side facing the head of the mandible and toward the side which faces the temporal bone it is convex opposing to the fossa and it is concave toward the articular eminence. The articular disc itself is avascular with no innervation the posterior part of the disc is divided into two laminates called the bilaminar zone, an upper zone and a lower zone, and these zones are highly innervated. Anteriorly, the disc is attached to the muscle, which is the lateral pterygoid muscle, and the lower part of it of the disc is attached to the head of the condyle. And the upper part here is attached to the anterior surface of the articular eminence. This is the general anatomy for the temporomandibular joint. Here you can see the glenoid fossa and here is the articular eminence. This is the head of the mandible. Once again, this is a lateral view for the temporomandibular joint. Here is the head of the mandible. Here is the glenoid fossa. Here is the articular eminence. This is the articular disc, which is avascular with no innervation. Posterior part is divided into two zones. It is a bilaminar zone, upper and lower zones, where we will find the innervation. Anteriorly, it is attached to the lateral pterygoid muscle, to the neck of the mandible, and to the anterior part of the articular eminence. This disc is a dense fibrous tissue. The lower part of the disc facing the mandible is concave while the disc in the upper part facing the glenoid fossa and the articular uh, eminence is concave or convex. This is the temporomandibular joint in opening stage. Here is the head. Here is the lower part of the disc. It is concave. And this is the upper part of the disc. This is the convex part which will fit in the glenoid fossa. And this is the concave part which will fit to the articular eminence. The upper synovial cavity, the lower synovial cavity. This is the lower zone. This is the upper zone of the disc. Anteriorly, this is the lateral trigoid muscle. So the disc divides the joints into two cavities, upper and lower synovial cavities. This is a decalcified section for the temporomandibular joint. A refers for the head of the mandible. 
D for the disc, C for the glenoid fossa, B for the articular eminence. E the upper synovial cavity, F the lower synovial cavity. H is the upper zone, I the lower zone, G the lateral trigoid muscle. This is a histological section for the head of the condyle, the articular disc, dense fibrous tissue. The layers in the head of the mandible are divided into articular zone, fibrous tissue, like the disc, proliferative zone, highly cellular zone, fibrocartilaginous zone, cartilage mixed with fibrous tissue, calcified cartilage, cartilage but calcified, and then I have the bone proper itself. The same layers we will see them in the cranium part, the glenoid fossa and the articular eminence, except that for the calcified cartilage will be very limited. This section from the temporal part, I have the articular disc, the upper joint cavity, the articular zone, the proliferative zone, fibrocartilaginous zone, the calcified cartilage very thin, and then I have the temporal bone. Here I can see the articular zone, proliferative zone, fibrocartilaginous zone, calcified cartilage, and then I have the bone. In this image, the same articular zone, proliferative zone, fibrocartilaginous calcified cartilage, and bone. Here the same, I have the articular zone, proliferative zone, fibrocartilaginous calcified cartilage, and bone. This image is for developing condyle. We said in the previous sessions of embryology that the mandible is developed by intramembranous ossification around the buccal cartilage. Between the ages of 10 to 14 weeks, new three new ossification centers appears, one in the midline symphysis, one in the coronal process, and one in the condyle. And the ossification in these areas is by endochondral ossification. This image is for the developing mandible. The layers, I have the articular disc, number one, this is the articular disc. Then I have the articular zone. Then I have the reserve zone. Then I have the fibrocartilaginous zone. The fibrocartilaginous zone is divided into two layers. One is the proliferative cartilage and one is hypertrophic cartilage. So, in the developing mandible, the fibrocartilaginous zone is divided into two zones, or two layers, proliferative cartilage and hypertrophic cartilage, and then I have the calcified cartilage and bone. This is a view for developing mandible. Look at the layers will be articular, reserve zone, proliferative cartilage, hypertrophic cartilage, and I have the calcified cartilage. The layers that we can identify here, A is the articular zone, B the reserve zone, C proliferative cartilage, D hypertrophic cartilage, E calcified cartilage, and F here I have bone. Thank you for listening to me. This is the last session that I will give you. I hope to see you doctors in the following years. Good luck for everybody. See you. Goodbye.